Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. Thank you so much for watching my videos. In this video, we are going to cover the roles and responsibilities of the deck ratings. Deck ratings are basically the support level staff on board any merchant ship who play a very vital role in supporting functions like mooring, cargo operation, maintenance, watchkeeping, etc. Today, we are going to cover the deck side of the ratings. Basically, there are three departments in the ratings are the support function department. The first one is the deck side. The second one is the engine side. The third one is the galley or the you can say the cooking side. Okay, so that is again a very important department which will be covering in future videos. We are going to cover different ranks in the deck department in the rating side. First one is the bosun. Second was the AB, then OS, then we have something called the deck fitter or the pump man. These are the four major ranks which are covered and we will talk in depth about their job functions on board a merchant ship. Let's go into the video. Deck ratings. First rank what we are going to talk about is the bosun. Bosun is you can tell he is the leader of the deck department. Basically, he oversees all the operations of the deck crew and he takes the job from the chief officer to whom he reports to. Talking about his certification, he will be requiring the ABLE Seafarer Deck Certification. Okay, and the experience what is required as per the company's requirement. So if he satisfies the company's requirement and if he is an AB, ABLE Seaman, as he has an the rank bosun is got from by promoting any able seaman on board a merchant ship able seaman which we will be covering later has the certification which the bosun also has bosun doesn't have any special certification as such but based on the company's requirement for promotion they can promote him to the rank of bosun coming to the salaries salaries the minimum range of bosun can be again varied based on nationality and the vessel type etc etc if you want to have a ballpark figure it might be anything between 1700 1800 to around 2200 to 2300 this is what is the range where you can see the bosun salaries nowadays we see bosuns are being replaced by senior ab's Bosun is a rank which is costlier than ABs and they do a very similar function of overseeing all the deck department. Hence, a senior AB also can do the same function. Hence, rather than ranking the senior AB as Bosun, the companies prefer to rank him as AB and hence get the job done of a Bosun through AB. However, there are still some companies who are very traditional and follow the rank of bosun on board their vessels. Talking about the job functions, overseeing the work of deck side ratings and ensuring the tasks are completed safely and efficiently. Basically, he ensures all the jobs given by the chief officer for the deck department is being completed on time and with proper quality and the quantity. Maintaining and repairing deck equipment and rigging. Bosun is also supposed to be an expert in rigging. There are ma many rigging requirements on board a vessel, mainly in the deck department, because we have a lot of painting work which needs to be done. And also, rigging is used for picking up pilots, and also, it can also be used for moorings. Hence, Rigging is a very important aspect which the bosun is expected to be aware of. Planning and coordinating deck operations such as cargo loading and unloading, anchor handling and mooring. The chief officer gives the overall instruction to the bosun that what time we will have the anchor stations or the mooring stations or we'll be picking a pilot or we will start the cargo loading or discharging 
Hence, the Bosun plans the watches in consultation with Chief Officer and the duties of the ABs and OS who are reporting to the Bosun. So, Bosun in consultation with Chief Officer tells who will be in the watch, what time, and who is going to be there in the mooring stations, in the anchor stations, etc. etc. Ensuring the ship's deck is clean and free of debris. As he is overseeing the operations of deck, he also ensures all the deck area is kept clean and devoid of debris so that the ship presents itself in a nice way when she comes to port. Providing guidance and training to deck side ratings as needed. There can be some young deck ratings who have recently joined the ship or in an experienced able seaman or an ordinary seaman. Hence, Bosun becomes a fatherly figure and provides training on the job training rather these young minds. Participate in safety drills and following safety procedures. As with everybody on the ship, Bosun also has the duties and responsibilities set out during emergencies and he attends all the drills and ensures the equipment which he is using also in good operating condition. Monitoring the condition of ship's deck equipment and reporting any issues to the officer on watch. During cargo watches, the bosun doesn't have any fixed watch and he is on the round the call call duty which is called day work in the shipping terminology where he doesn't have a specific watch. He has a normal 8 to 5 job. However, he can be called at any time in case of additional manpower requirement. Hence, he is always almost on the deck and he keeps observing what is happening on the deck other than what done by the watch keeping ready. In case he finds anything amiss on the deck, he immediately reports to the watchkeeping officer. Similarly, during sailing, he also doesn't have any watches on the bridge. Even though he is certified by able seafarer deck, he does not keep any navigational watch. This is done by the able seaman which we will be talking next. Next rank is the able seaman or AB which is in the short form. Keeping watch on deck and reporting any hazards or changes in the ship's surrounding. These are the duties. However, before the duties, like Boson, we will cover the certification requirement and the salary structure. With regards to the certification, he is required to have either able seafarer deck or a watchkeeping rating. Watchkeeping rating for deck is function 2 bar 4, regulation SCCW and seafarer, able seafarer deck is regulation 2 bar 5 of the STCW convention. So 2 bar 5 is a higher grade than the 2 bar 4. I have made a separate video on the transition of how a new seafarer joins and then he gets 2 bar 4 and then he transitions to 2 bar 5. Please go and watch that video if you want more information on how the transition happens. Most of the safe mining certificates mention the requirement of the able seafarer deck certification either 2 bar 5 or 2 bar 4. However, preferably the able seaman always has the 2 bar 5 certification on board. Again, it depends on the company if they want to continue operating on 2 bar 4, it is okay. However, for the cargo operation, it is always preferable to have the 2 bar 5 certification. With regards to the salaries, again, as I mentioned, it depends variably on the experience of the able seaman, the nationality of the able seaman, what type of ship he is working on, and the trading pattern. The salaries can range between 900 to 1000 to on the upper level of 1500 to 1600 levels as well. So this is a huge range based on the different certification. For example, if he has an Indian flag certification, the chances are he will get a higher salary. If he has a Panama certification or a Honduras certification, then his salary might be lesser because his employability becomes less. Hence, it is always better to have a closed COC rather than a flag of convenience COC which limits their employability and also the earning capabilities. 
Okay, let's come back to the job responsibilities. Keeping watch on deck and reporting any hazards or changes in the ship's surrounding. Basically, he is a watchkeeper like the deck officer who keeps watch. He is also a watchkeeper on the rating side. On navigation side, he keeps the watches. Similarly, he also keeps watches during the cargo operations. Hence, the cargo operations, when it is happening, he is supposed to look out for which are things which are amiss and also tend to the moorings, tend to the gangways, have a lookout on the manifold. Manifold is the area where the cargo operation takes place and actually the shore hoses connect to the ship's hoses. That is for a tanker. In case of a general cargo, it will be the hold where he will be monitoring what cargoes are happening, what cargoes are being discharged. If it's a car carrier, again he will monitor how the cars are coming up, any damages to the cars, etc. etc. Hence the job function will vary very very differently based on the vessel type. However, the basic structure remains the same. Providing support to the ship's officer during navigation and maneuvering. As I mentioned, he keeps watch on board on the bridge during the vessel navigation from port A to port B. He also takes on the steering of the ship when the vessel is on manual steering while entering a port or a leaving port. Once the ship leaves the port, then the steering is put on automatic pilot. Hence, we can set the course and the ship automatically steers. Loading and unloading cargo safely and efficiently including monitoring cargo condition. Able Seafarer is always on the deck during cargo operations. He monitors the cargo condition, how it is coming, how it is going and also any irregular findings which he finds which is not appropriate to the condition, he reports to the watchkeeping officer. Securing cargo and, using, and ship using appropriate methods of equipment. In tankers, it's all the valves and the flanges. In container ships, it can be the turnbuckles and the dogs. And in case of carriers, it can be the tram. So whatever the ship type may be, he has to ensure all the cargo is secured after the cargo operation. So he is part of the team, including the bosun and all the ratings who actually secure the ship for the sea. Participate in safety drills and follow, follow safety procedures. Again, this is a common responsibility of all on board to attend all emergency trainings and follow all the safety procedures to ensure the seafarer is aware of his duties during an emergency. Fabric maintenance for the deck area. Again, this is a, a additional job which is part of his normal routine where he is also involved in fabric maintenance. He has to do the chipping, painting of all the deck areas with other ratings and supervised by the bosun.